Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert and it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Tony Coleman Drums from Sonovox. Now I already hear you screaming, what, another drum VI, like we need one of those. But Sonovox have come about this slightly differently. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Tony Coleman was drummer with the late BB King. Uh, he's also played on studio and live with Etta James, Buddy Guy, Albert King. This guy knows his kind of soul, um, laid back blues, funk. He's a legend in that kind of genre. And what Sonovox have done is they've sampled his favorite or his current studio drum kit it's a mapex maple satin series kit 22 inch kick drum 10 12 13 14 16 toms a couple of different snares and some hand-picked sabian cymbals uh, everything from a 22 inch aax ride uh, sabian crashes 20 inch volt crash a 16 inch aa 17 aa 18 inch aax it's a very small number of symbols. However, it's a 10 gig library, all recorded at Ardent Studios by Tony, um, and it's really different. It's not your normal overcomplicated, over tweakable drum VI. It's very, very simple, and I like that. So obviously down here in the main GUI, we've got Tony's kit or the representation thereof. Over here, we have our drum edit section, the amplitude and pitch for each drum. <coughs> and an EQ for each drum. We then have a mixer section, which again keeps things simple. Kick, snare, hat, toms, overhead, and room. And the room mic is the one that I think is the most tweakable. We then have our master effects section, compressor, EQ, and reverb. And this works on the whole kit, not each drum. Really, really worth saying that. Master section, master volume, master pan, and our preset selection. Now, as I said, it's only one drum kit. So what presets are there? Basically, what they've done is they've set the kit up in different ways. They've obviously up-tuned the snare, backed things off a little bit, and they've given you some presets in here for different genres of music. The kit, it has to be said, sounds the same. Well, Kel Surprise there, it's the same kit. So what we're going to do is we'll just have a listen to, I've got some preset kind of MIDI patterns up here different styles uh, and we'll have a listen and see how they sound see if you like them i think this thing sounds great the real kicker is to this the price point uh, at the moment i think us dollars it's going for 199 on the sonovox website for 199 bucks this thing sounds absolutely incredible take the price tag away it still sounds pretty damn good if you're one of these people who uber tweaks and gets uber geeky with their drum sound this probably isn't for you because I don't know, 99% of the time I want to get a great drum sound straight away, just get something really simple going and boom, I'm off. So let's have a listen to this first kit, studio kit number one with the snares on. I'll load it up. And this is a basic rock pattern. I love adding just a little bit of room to this, just to give it, to let the kit breathe. It's not to everybody's tastes, but hey, I like it. Let's go for some sort of triplet blues. Now I like the fact it's a really live sounding kit. If I play through these each one at a time, The snare's got a ring to it. It's got a reality to it. I really like that. However, if you want to go in and tweak that, we can do. So let's go in into the EQ.
There we go. It's got rid of some of that ring. And that's probably what I'd do in an EQ anyway. But you can tweak to a greater or lesser extent until you get the sound you want. Um, it's just a really, really easy plugin to use. Let's have a listen to some of these master effects. You can be really subtle about how you use them. You haven't got to be heavy handed. If I go in there and go to 100% on the mix, it's going to sound pretty dreadful. Let's try some Latin on that. I love the ambience that the effects reverb adds into the room sound. I think that sounds really, really nice. Let's try another kit. Let's go to the rock kit, snare two. Back to one of our rock grooves. Here we go. There's your 80s rock sound instantly. Let's have a listen to one of these. Maybe not so much for that kind of, um, sort of salsa Latin groove, but. Kind of double shuffle sound. Let's have a listen to one of the feels. Really, really nice tom sound. It's very crisp. It's it's real sounding. It doesn't sound like a fake drum bi, which is definitely a bonus. Let's try a couple more. Let's try some jazz. Snares on. And you can see they load up really, really quickly. Again, this is another bonus of this library. It really, really isn't very thirsty on CPU. Let's have a look down here. You can see here in the system usage window that my machine is only just ticking over with this thing. Yes, it's a pretty pokey machine these days, um, but the HDX card is only being used for the DSP processing and for the Pro Limiter, which is being used on my voice, not on the instrument itself. This thing is very, very light on CPU load, and the samples load up really, really quickly. So let's have a listen to this jazz kit. Let's have some, uh, some funk. Obviously brushes on that one. Let's try some double shuffle. Yeah, really, really liking that a lot. Um, one of the other things I love is the fact that you get Hot Rods kit. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know what Hot Rods are, they're kind of Hot Rods or bundle sticks. They're like a series of thin dowels which are held together via a tape or shrink wrap. And they give a really alternative sound to kind of halfway between brushes and sticks, really. Uh, a bit like this. I love that kind of, it's not quite brushes, it's not quite sticks. It's a really, really nice sound. Uh, let's have a listen to some Neo Soul with the snares off this time. Bit rocky for that one. Really, really 
great sound. I'm loving that. So listen to this one. Actually, let's try it with the snares on for that sort of groove. Snare drum number two. I'm really liking this thing. It sounds really, really good. It's not the most flexible of drum VIs. Let's face it, it's one drum kit. And not every drum kit is going to work for every single track you ever produce. But it's really simple to use. If you only have one drum VI and you like the way this thing sounds, then you're on to a winner. It's really simple to use. It's very low on CPU. And at the end of the day, it is $200 for a great sounding drum kit. So last one we're going to look at is the unplugged kit. Um, this thing's just mental. Have a listen. great sounding kit um, above all they've kept it simple they've got great samples of a great kit and they've given us just enough control so we can tweak just enough to make it sound our own there's not infinite levels of tweakability you can't change how much mic bleeds from the underside of tom 3 into the overhead mic but 99.9% .9 of the time we don't need to do that Keeping it simple is definitely the way to go. After all, I am a drummer, therefore we believe in things like that. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I've been James, and I'll see you again soon for another gear review.